Hi guys, we are leaving for Europe tomorrow. So I am by no means an expert on packing. If anything, I probably need your tips, but you guys wanted to see a pack with me video. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. I'm just going to be showing you what I usually do, but honestly, I need to watch some, <laughs> you know, uh, pack with me videos, but this is how I have done it. And it's kind of worked for me. So this is how I sort of begin the process. So let me flip the camera around and show you this chaotic mess. Okay, so what I've done is I've just thrown a whole bunch of outfits on the floor. Luckily, I have a lot of kind of floor space in my bedroom. And then because I've kind of like worn these outfits before or I've tried them on, I'm pretty confident that they're going to all go. But if I'm not sure, what I'll usually do is I'll take, take a quick mirror selfie just to make sure it looks all good. But as I said, these outfits I've kind of worn. I don't know if I'm going to take everything because I still have some things on my bed. Excuse the messy room, but this is real life. What I kind of do is like I put my pinks. I want to bring some color, some blues, some of my new Goelia. Uh, outfits which I showed you in my Dior haul. I think with me, I am definitely not a minimalistic packer, but hopefully I'm not an overpacker as well. And then moving over here, I've got some, you know, my MIM skirt, which I wear so much, so good for travel because it doesn't wrinkle. Some Hermes tees, some more dresses. I'm definitely more of a dress girl. Whenever I bring a pair of shoes, it needs to match at least a couple of outfits. So with black, it's kind of no brainer. You'll see that it'll go with this, it'll go with this. You know, I brought a pair of denim shorts, Zimmerman blouse, my MIM floral blouse. You can always interchange it, like stripes can go with the shorts. My favorite pair of Roger Vivier shoes, which, you know, I couldn't, I can walk in miles in these. So these are definitely coming with me. I brought these to Seoul with me. So that's what I usually do. I kind of lay it all out on the floor and then put some shoes down. And then look, these are the bags I'm thinking of bringing with me. I know too many. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I might have to cull. I tend to go a bit nuts on the accessories because, you know, I love my bags. But there's a whole variety of color. Let's see what I can fit in. Okay, so trialing out this new Samsonite. What is it, hubby? What is it called? Mm, it's a Proxus. It's a Proxus. And it's super lightweight, but it's supposed to be really like more no, hardy and scrunchy. No durable, more durable, right? But it's really, really light and it's got the four wheels. But what I do like about it, because I do have, own the Samsonite carry on, that it's got two compartments with dividers. So. One completely flat, and then one obviously that has, you know, this part here. This is the biggest one, so I think we're going to have plenty of room because we have like a 35 kilo limit or something. Usually this is my little carry-on that I've had for years, and this has held up so well, so I thought I would give it a try. And I have just got some cheap packing cubes that I wanted to get some new ones but these ones were just from Kmart that I got I don't even know a couple of years ago but I'm thinking of trying the compression ones next time personally I like to use packing cubes and just roll things up I think it makes everything a bit more organized so okay I am going to roll all this up and let's see what we can fit in the checked on and then I'll go through my carry on with you. Okay, so there were nine dresses. So what I usually do is just roll them up simply. It's no Mari Kondo fold or anything, but I do like to choose materials that don't tend to wrinkle as you can see like that so these type of lighter weight ones I just tightly roll 
and if it has something like this then I just kind of like wrap it around not really any science to it <laughs> and then put it in there so that's number one and let's see how many we can fit in there okay let's stop and appreciate this one this is so beautiful look at all this ruffling detail so this is from the brand Maria Lucia Hohan. Thanks hubby for helping me film by the way. It's okay. <laughs> and I'm just going to put this one aside because this one's got a bit of boning. So I want to just put that aside for now because it will take up more room. And let's move on to this very thin Dior shirt dress. Okay, so as you can see, there's eight dresses that fit into there. There's still some space here. So I'm going to just see how I go. But so far, the one dress can't fit in. So let's just leave that there for now. So officially, there's sort of like eight tops, some shirts and tees. But I always bring like at least three colors of my Mim Cami. So I'm going to bring the fuchsia pink, the black of course, and then the off-white. So yeah, these camis are like really wrinkle resistant as well. So I could probably just do it all into one like this. Now I'm going to move this one aside for now. This probably can tell I'm gonna wear with my Mim Cami is gonna be an all pink outfit this parachute material is so good so lightweight and it's already crinkled so it doesn't matter so that fit all my tops. You know what I might even do? This is my first round. If I've got space in my hand carry, I might take my Hermes tees out because I like to keep all my designer items together. But if not, I mean, I'm okay with having my Hermes tees in there. It's just more the really high priced like bags and shoes I prefer to, you know, be on my hand carry still space too so you could squish you can see that there's still space but let's leave that for now so with one of the camel shorts this was like the matching sort of set so i should have counted that as a top but it's more like kind of like a jacket so I also, just in case it gets cold, even though it probably won't, but definitely on the plane will be cold, I have like a wool knit. So I'm probably going to wear that. But I also just have, which has got all Chino and Chai's cat hair. So I won't pack that yet because I need to defluff it. <laughs> Look at all the cat hair. So that, I reckon that and all these. I don't know if I should bring my bowl mine. I probably don't need it, I think. Might be a bit, it's quite heavy too. So I'm going to eliminate that once I defluff this I will put that in there too but this one has more space so I'll leave that unzipped so that fits a lot okay so I put my clothes on this side the bar side because it's soft. Actually, this could go this way. So you could still put a little sweater here and then there's actually lots of space, but I still have to pack shoes. Uh, my designer ones I'll take on my carry-on, but I will put a couple of pairs in here. But yes, I have a lot more room when you saw that mess to this, it's actually not that bad. I mean, I would put 
these in there obviously in shoe bags because these ones are just high street shoes but they won't take up if you can kind of tell once I put them in shoe bags they won't take up that much space see so I've got plenty of space the hard part is going to fit in my carry-on all my designer stuff but I might have to put some bags in here and cull some bags oh yeah and toiletries that will take up one chunk but even this one here I think I could still squeeze a lot more in okay so this is my carry-on which is also from Samsonite I've had this for like three years I like it because it's quite deep so in terms of my shoes sometimes I put them together sometimes I don't let's just see how much space we have but my designer shoes usually go in dust bags they don't always have to be their respective dust bags but some of them I'll put here because oh, I've got a lot of shoes to fit actually let's just see how we go so these ones I've put separate because they've got the suitcase handle here so one goes shoe goes here one goes here so then it doesn't get dented okay guys so just for the sake of time on this side which is has the bar I have got my shoes in there so there are one two three four pairs of shoes and that's what it fits in that side so I will seal that up and then if for example you don't have one of the ones where it's all smooth you can just put some thin cardboard this is just one I got from Lily Silk but just to protect it if you're worried about your bags but it's fine but on this side I felt a little lump so I'm just being extra cautious so the bags I'm packing are my Chanel vintage Diana so sometimes at the moment I'm going through organizing all my dust bags so I don't have all the exact ones I think this one I will put on top actually this is the Saint Laurent clutch that I've also got a converter in there so I can use it as a clutch and a handbag because that's caviar leather I will put that I feel better about putting that down the bottom so that will just go down there and then in here is my Gucci Mama wicker bag as I said uh, I'm looking for my dust bag at the moment, so I'm happy just to put that there. It's wicker, so it's very durable. Now this one I actually bubbled wrap because this one is a bit more delicate, so I'm just being extra careful with that. Again, you don't always have to use the, you know, exact Chanel bags, but if I can't find it, I, it's okay. And then I have got my... Hermes Mini Evelyn in here in Mauve Sylvester. So that's quite durable. That's in Clemence. So I'm going to put that down there. Then I'm going to put my Chanel um, vintage flap up here because that's in lambskin. So that is one, two, three, four, five bags. So I still have to put my belt. So what I will do. To finish this off is I plan to put a few of my belts, my designer belts that I put in here and also um, go through jewellery which I might do tomorrow morning and then this is pretty much finished. So I tend to store my jewellery just in VCA pouches but I'll quickly show you that tomorrow before I close it up. So just to show you what ended up going in here was my little Marc Jacobs mini tote bag, my vintage Celine bag which I will just put in a vestiaire dust bag, though I didn't get it from vestiaire, but that's fine. And then I am just going to put my shoes in here. They sort of fold up nicely anyway. These are quite cheap sort of shoes and I've worn them to death, so I know that they're comfortable. I think definitely when you travel, you should definitely go with shoes that you know you can walk a long time in. Don't experiment too much. 
and that is why I don't know if I'm going to take my Dior ones because if I have space I might clearly I have space here if I wanted to put them there but I do prefer to put my designer shoes and bags in my carry-on with clothing so far touch wood we've never lost anything but these pieces of clothing are not super high value so I feel okay with that and then tomorrow, yeah, I plan to wear my Roger Vivier shoes because they're quite bulky. But I'll show you my airport outfit tomorrow. Okay, so this is my carry-on. As I said, I, I've got my bags on this side because it's the flatter side. So I'm bringing one, two, three, four and then five and then the others are on check-on because those ones are not as high value just a little tip make sure your bags are stuffed so that they don't flatten out so all mine are stuffed in there and then in terms of belts i've decided just to bring the same one because i use it so much so i have just got my kelly Hermes kelly belt in three colors so white tan and black and all three of them have different color hardware so that's what I'm bringing in terms of belts. So that is my carry-on. And then, so that will go in here. So there's still space there. And then in this pocket, um, I just usually store my jewelry because this is coming on board with me. My jewelry in there. So I just use their travel pouches to store heaps of my earrings and some in here. I've got some necklaces. So that's how I store my jewelry. And then I'll show you what bag I'm also carrying on as well as my handbag. I forgot to tell you that just in case I took this out of my check-in because just in case, I mean, I've also got an Apple Air tag in my suitcase, but just in case I thought I would have an outfit if for any reason that got lost, I still have the skirt that could go with these two tops. So this is my Hermes tees, so I can just lay them in here as well. And then not the best organization, but it works. This is just a toiletry bag, but we've got all our international charges and the cords that we need. So that's the final item that will go into my checked in suitcase. Okay guys, so that is the final result of my checked in. There is actually still space here so I can squish more clothes because this I will cover up. But yeah, I have a little bit of space, but what hubby's doing, we're packing a suitcase within a suitcase so we have a spare suitcase so yeah i still got a bit more space in here but yeah i'm happy with that and then finally i'm also bringing miss pearly my kelly and inside here i've nestled my mini kelly in there some of the other jewelry i'm bringing that i want to hand carry and then i will put this and i haven't shown you this but this is my foray lapage 41. normally i use this as my ha handbag but I'm going to use this this time. Very, very handy. So I'll just pack it all in there and then show you. And then I'm just using this as a little carry-all. Plus I can also use it, you know, as a clutch. But this is my pochette. And this is in 29. So I've got my mini pochette in there. My, my wallet for the trip. My sunnies, which I've got another couple in my checked in. A face mask for the plane and just some mints. And that will go in here. And then I, hubby's got my laptop, but that would easily fit there. And then the final thing is my Mont Blanc clear case. Just got some, you know, lotion, some refresher spray and some extra perfume. So that can go in there. So this, I could still fit my laptop. My passport can go in here and that will be my handbag. So that is it, my loves. We are off to the airport. Oh, Chino, we're going to miss you. So that is my checked in, my new Samsonite and my carry on with my Foray Lepage. And in terms of my outfit, I wore these pants when I was packing last night. They're just really comfy, stretchy, elasticated cotton pants, singlet, and then hubby's Gucci cardigan, which honestly is so comfortable. I feel like I've stolen it now. So that is my complete look. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of chaotic pack with me. But if you have any packing tips, definitely let me know and leave in the comments below. So thank you all so much for watching. And there may be less videos in the next couple of weeks since 
I'm gonna really try to enjoy this holiday. Uh, I forgot to tell you where we were going. We are going to Budapest, Vienna and Munich. Okay, so I will of course vlog for you. And yeah, just three cities, three countries I've never been to before. So thank you all so much for watching guys and I will catch you soon in my next video.